What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another speed art video. Today we just hit 3,000 subs, man. The grind just got serious. It's been real, man. I want to thank all you guys for your love and support. Making sure y'all stay tuned in with your boy. Make sure you keeping up with what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. And today. It's been a lot of talk going around about this Goku got a new tra transformation or a new power level he done reach. You know what I'm saying? I don't know when he gonna start reaching the next power level. I guess never. But it's pretty dope. He got a. It's, it look like it's going back to the original form, but it ain't. I'm gonna do a quick speed art video on it. Let y'all check it out. Have a little tips. For the ones who didn't catch catch the other tips in the other videos, you'll maybe learn something today. Make sure if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Hit post notifications so you will be notified every time I drop a new video. And without further ado, man, we're finna jump right into it. First thing you wanna do when you start drawing, go ahead and pick up pick a bright color so basically we're gonna start out with the blueprint so I like to click like a light pink and everybody be asking what brush I use all I do is click this come right here to new brush click OK go to this fixed then click pressure and change these bottom two to like an even number, like five or four. Click OK. And it should give you the brush y'all be seeing me use on every video. So, let's jump right into this thing, man. And I always remember when you're working on, on the sketch of it, you can take as long as you want to. Just make sure you get everything before you start doing the official line work. Make sure you got everything in proportion and the way you like it. You know what I'm saying? So you can mess up a million times on this part.
finally finished the line work. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make every line we draw, we're gonna merge it together to make it one. So how you do that is you click your select, your selection tool, and you highlight all your line work. Then once you got everything selected, you go to object, then you go to expand appearance. Then go to your pathfinder and click merge. And it'll make all your line work one. So after I do that, I duplicate my line work layer. And I just drag it down to this, this white piece of paper. And it'll make a copy of it. And I lock the top cup copy. So once I start coloring, I color, I like, I make my, I make another sheet of paper for like strictly shadows and I put it between my two pieces of line work so my line work can always appear on top no matter what I do. So, but I, I stepped ahead. So what we're going to do is, after you made a copy of your line work, you're going to come over here, right click this until you get this, uh, rectangle tool then we're gonna see try to get it close to the skin color as possible and what you gonna do get your rectangle tool in, drag it over your line work make sure this Drag it over your line work, and then you're gonna click. You're gonna right click the uh, rectangle you just made, and then you're gonna go to arrange and send to the back. After you do that, you're gonna click off of it, and then make sure you got your selection tool selected, and you're gonna select everything together. We just sunk this to the back. Now we're gonna select everything together. Together, the line work in the um, rectangle. So, and now what we're gonna do while we got both of these selected, we're gonna click merge so we can make it one. Okay, after you merge it, you click off of it. Then you click back on it. And you right click it. And then you go to isolate selected group. Okay. Now we're going to click off of it again. Click this. Click back onto it. And we're going to click delete. Because we only want the color that's inside. And now you can, you can switch colors around. Since we got the, the isolated selected group on, we can go through and change colors.
highlight everything and just color. Then you go to you go to edit, edit color, recolor with preset. Then you click the first one. Okay. Then you come right here. You, you click all. All the codes to be showing that you, that you made, and I want to make it a little, a little more red. got the base color D now it's time to go in and shade so what I do I do my darks to light so what we're gonna start with we're gonna lock this layer we're gonna lock our base color layer and now we're gonna start putting layers in between so it'll be in between the, the base color layer and the line work always stay on top so no matter what we do It'll fall right under that line work and look smooth. So I'm gonna add a new add a new layer. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm gonna do our dark shadows.